Hi, it's Mike with CCB Counseling Services, offering some thoughts on grief. Grief is a common emotion that human beings feel on a regular basis, specifically in today's times um, with the pandemic we're uh, facing and all the other traumas that our society seems to be going through. Grief is something that can be created from a very small uh, incident in someone's life up to a very large incident in someone's life. And that's the key thing to remember about grief is that it's based on a trauma. And a trauma can be, once again, losing a favorite toy if you're a child, all the way up to the passing of a loved one. There are five stages to grief, um, and they are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Keep in mind that those stages don't move in a line, they move more in a pond. So the analogy I often bring up uh, when anyone who's facing grief is it's very much like the tides of the ocean, that you could just be living your life, going through your day, and wham, you're gonna feel like crying immediately. Or you're gonna feel anger out of nowhere for no reason. And that's the way grief works. So with grief, you have to be prepared to ride the wave because it does have all the components you know, of other mental health concerns like anxiety and depression. You, know, you feel it in your body, you feel it in your brain, you feel it in your emotions, you feel it in your relationships. And that's the key thing uh, I wanna encourage everyone to do is just be prepared to ride the wave. You have to recognize that as little of an event or as a big of an event that you've been through, it is a significant event if it brings you to tears, if it creates that feeling of loss and despair, if it creates that feeling of hopelessness. And this comes in a wave like a circle. Unlike depression, which is kind of a consistent state of sadness, this can be very up and down. You can feel good one minute and feel horrible the next. So keep that in mind that when you're facing loss or a traumatic event, grief is going to be present. It will fade and eventually change into thoughts of remembrance in a positive way. So for a child who loses their favorite toy, they will grieve that loss. And then that toy will be replaced by another toy. And then they'll remember that toy. It won't bring sadness and pain, but it will bring happiness and joy and fond memories. The same with the passing of a loved one. Um, grief will initially, when you think of that person, will bring thoughts of pain and sadness and despair and sorrow. But the more you process that grief, the sooner that those thoughts will change into feelings of happiness and positive memory and connection and gratitude for the time you had with that person and the relationship that you had. So when the grief comes, just like when you're dealing with any emotional response, you wanna cry it out, you wanna to remember to take deep breaths, you wanna rely on people you love to give you a hug, tell you that you're gonna be okay and that you can make it through this. And if you, if you are somebody who is supporting someone going through grief, the best thing you can do is just be there with them. Offer them encouragement, offer them positive affirmation and kindness and empathy. And that's the best way to ride the wave of grief. Thanks so much for checking in and please check back on our website for additional um, techniques to manage emotions. Thank you all so much.